This review looks at two versions of the Mercedes-Benz iconic truck, and it's fitted with a found VarioPress refuse collector. Model 90840 is in white, and let's get the spray gun out, and Model 90865 is in orange. The models come in the same NZG branded box, and they have the Daimler hologram showing it's a genuine licensed product. Today feels like an orange day, so we'll open up the orange iconic model. And once the box is opened, what comes out is a pair of expanded polystyrene trays, and they're held together with a plastic former, which is factory sealed. Instead of biting the box open like a crazy werewolf, we'll use a knife, and then we can split the trays and pull the model out. There's no instructions for the model, and there's no assembly to do because these models are complete out of the box. Underneath the model is typical NZG and mostly modelled in metal, with the steering mechanisms being functionally modelled. The iconic cab looks distinctive, it has plastic mirrors, and there are some small graphics and a dummy NZG number plate. On one side the cab has folding doors for easy access by the bin men. Behind the cab is a nice perforated exhaust. One nice touch is that the cab roof has a real roof light so you can look in through the top. The body sides are plain with an access plate on one side, and on the roof there are painted hydraulic lines. The tailgate has painted grab rails which are solid and part of the casting, and there are nicely detailed consoles on either side. There are plastic mirrors and a camera holder on top of the tailgate, and at the bottom there are steps and loaders, and the compactor can just be seen inside. The white version of the model is essentially the same as the orange version, so it's up to you if you think white is right, or orange is better. <laughs> ah yes, in comes our friendly refuse truck. And it is a very nice model to roll around, partly because of its heavy weight. Looking underneath, the drive wheels all spin together, and there's steering on both the front and rear axles. The range of movement is good, particularly at the front, and that means that this is one bin lorry that can certainly turn a corner. On this truck, all the rubbish gets compacted in the body, and to get rid of the rubbish, you can lift up the whole of the tailgate, and then an ejector on the inside pushes all the rubbish out. Mind you, it looks as dark as hell in there, and take it from me, you don't want to spend a night in the bin lorry. The metal tailgate is very heavy, and the rams do a good job holding it up. Another working feature is the bin loaders, which hinge up and tip the bin. And it would have been nice if a couple of bins had been supplied with the model. The two bin stops at the top can also be moved. Now it's time for a genuine imitation, real life test. And here we're going to raise the tailgate and see what rubbish we can eject from inside. The ejector does not work on the model, so we'll improvise. And out it all comes. Yes, what a load of rubbish the Cranes Etc team is. <laughs> This is a very nice model of a municipal vehicle by NZG. It's very solid with a high metal content and only the mirrors are plastic and a little bit more fragile. It captures the iconic cab style very well and the found Vario Press is modelled well too. Overall this truck model is highly recommended. 